We're in our Cisco Switch Catalyst uh, series, and I'm going to show you how to turn a VLAN on after it's been created. A lot of times after you create the VLAN, it doesn't actually show up as working until you turn on the VLAN. So in order to create the VLAN, uh, before what we did was we did a config T for uh, the global configuration mode. And then all we did was type uh, interface VLAN and then the number 100. And you can see now we've created our VLAN. That's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and give our VLAN an IP address so we can get this thing turned on. And I'm just going to go ahead and give it a 100.100.100. Um, .100 and we'll give it a 24-bit subnet mask. So we hit Enter. All right, so let's go ahead and exit that. And now if we do our show VLAN command, you'll see, oops, we got to have to exit out of there. And we do our show VLAN command, uh, you'll see a list of all the VLANs, but you'll see that the 100 VLAN we just created doesn't even show up in the VLAN database. So in order to make sure that we assign this and get this to work, we need to assign it to a particular uh, uh, port, at least one port uh, on the data on the uh, switch itself. So let's go back into our global configuration mode, and we're going to go into a one of our ports on our switch. Okay, so now we're on interface gigabit Ethernet one zero forty seven. So one is the switch number, and forty seven is the port number. So uh, we know that not, this particular one is not being used for anything, so this is a good one to go ahead and, and uh, assign the VLAN. So now what we need to do is we need to uh, add a switch port command to add that into the uh, VLAN database. So now we'll go ahead and type switch port access VLAN 100. There we go. So it says this, uh, this VLAN does not exist. Even though we created it earlier, it didn't show up in the database. Now uh, we can actually see creating VLAN 100. So um, our VLAN should now be up. So let's go ahead and exit out and just to confirm that. So if we do a show interface VLAN 100, then it shows us that the uh, the it's up, but the line protocol is down. So that basically means that our VLAN is working, but nothing is plugged into our port. So let's go ahead and see if we can ping. There we go. We see success. Our VLAN is now up. Very good. And now it's showing that our VLAN is up and up because we were able to ping it. So it brought that up as well even though we don't have anything plugged in, just by the act of pinging, it went ahead and did that. If we had just plugged something in that would have done the same thing, it would have brought that up as well. So that's how you create a VLAN and attach it to a particular port to make the VLAN live.